Glancing fearfully about him, his eyes fell upon a high screen standing before the door. He dragged it forward and placed it between himself and the thing, so that he could not see it, nor it see him. Then he sat down again to his work. For a while he forced himself to look at the book in front of him, but at last, unable to control himself any longer, he suffered his eyes to follow their own bent. It may have been a hallucination. He may have accidentally placed the screen so as to favor such an illusion. But what he saw was a bony hand coming round the corner of the screen, and with a cry, he fell to the floor in a swoon. The people of the house came running in, and lifting him up, carried him out and laid him upon his bed. As soon as he recovered, his first question was, where had they found the thing?